I wish I knew these tips when I started playing Disco Elysium. They'll help you without spoiling any insane twists or mysteries in the game. First, some basics. Use detective mode to see things you can interact with. Single click to walk there or double click to run. Take everything you find. All the clothes, all the money, all the tear, everything. Postcards should be sold, but other items can help you in your quest. Once you find the bag, it allows you to collect tear, which can be returned to the Fritz store for a little extra money. Now, if you go into your inventory and equip the bag, you'll find more tear in the environment that would otherwise be hidden. Time advances slowly while in dialogue. If you want to skip forward faster, you have three options. You can sit on a bench, but this is only available when Kim's not around. Thus, you might want to buy and read a book from the bookstore to pass time easily. Or once you find your clipboard, you can keep rereading your case notes over and over. Health and morale are located in the bottom left corner, and the numbers above indicate how many healing items you have left and how to activate them. Upgrading Volition increases your morale bar, while Endurance increases your health. If you save often and stay away from drugs and alcohol, these shouldn't be too hard to manage. Go to sleep anytime after 21 hours. This heals all health and morale when you wake up. Kim also likes to go to bed at 21 hours, meaning you can continue with some activities you might not want him to see. At night, the streets become emptier and everyone's asleep by two. Once you've purchased the map from the bookstore, you can fast travel between three locations, but only while standing in front of the Whirling in Rags, the Shack in the Fishing Village, or the Church. Thanks for supporting my underrated channel. Want to learn about checks, substances, and thoughts? Click here.